good day, learners. So we are done with the four methods of solving quadratic equations, which are by extracting the square roots, factoring, completing the square, and by using the quadratic formula. But did you know that you can still determine the nature of the roots of these quadratic equations even before solving it? Yes, you heard it right. All you need to do is to find out the value of the expression b squared minus 4ac, or what we call the discriminant. The value of the discriminant b squared minus 4ac could be equal to 0, greater than 0 and a perfect square, greater than 0 but not a perfect square, and it could also be less than 0 or a negative integer. There are actually four conditions in finding out the nature of the roots of a quadratic equation. When b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, then the roots are real numbers and are equal. But when b squared minus 4ac or the discriminant is greater than 0 and a perfect square, then the roots are rational numbers but are not equal. And when b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0 but not a perfect square, then the roots are irrational numbers and are not equal. And when b squared minus 4ac or the discriminant is less than 0, then the equation has no real roots. Let's take this quadratic equation as an example. So that's y squared minus 4y plus 4 equals 0. So all we need to do is to find out the value of the discriminant b squared minus 4ac for us to determine the nature of the roots of this quadratic equation. So before using this formula or the discriminant, you have to first find out the values of a, b, and c. So the value of a here is the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term, so that's 1. The value of b is negative 4, and the value of c is 4. Okay, so once again, you have to make sure that the given quadratic equation is first written in standard form. So since we already have the values of a, b, and c, we may now substitute to the given discriminant. So the value of b is negative 4, and since it is squared, so we have to square the negative 4, minus 4, again 4 here is constant to the given formula, times 1 as the value of a, times 4 as the value of c. Then, let us simplify. So negative 4 squared means negative 4 times another negative 4, so that's positive 16. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, times 4 is negative 16, and 16 minus 16 is equal to 0. Going back to the first condition, when b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, we can say that the roots of the given quadratic equation are real numbers and are equal. So we can say that the roots of the given quadratic equations are real numbers and are equal. So, would you like to check if our answer is, answer is correct? If we are going to solve for y squared minus 4y plus 4 equals 0, we may just um, apply factor in. So, factor of the first term, factor of the last term in such a way that the factors when added is equal to the middle term. So the factors of positive 4 is negative 2 times negative 2, which when we add is equal to negative 4. So these are the factors of this quadratic equation. And if we are going to apply the zero product property, y minus 2 equals 0 here, and the other one, y minus 2 equals 0 there, exposed. The first value of y is positive 2, and the second value of y is also positive 2. So we are correct. Even before solving this, we know already that the value or the factors of y squared minus 
uh, 4y plus 4 equals 0, or this one, and the values of y are this one, 2 and positive 2. Real numbers and are equal. <coughs> Let us have the second example. So that's w squared plus 7w plus 10 equals 0. Again, since this is already written in standard form, we may now identify the values of a, b, and c. So that is 1, positive 7, and positive 10. So once again, the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. All we have to do is to substitute these values to the discriminant. So that's 7 squared minus 4 times 1 times c, which is 10. So simplify, 7 squared means 7 times 7, that's 49. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, times 10 is negative 40. So drop 49 minus 40 is just 9. Alright, so again, going back to the second condition, when b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, but, and a perfect square like this, 9 is greater than 0, and it is a perfect square. When we say perfect square, when extracted, it has an exact value, and the square root of 9 is 3, right? So this is greater than 0, and a perfect square. Therefore, we can say that the nature of the roots of the given quadratic equation are rational numbers, but are not equal. But are not equal. Okay. For the third example, you were given z squared plus 6z plus 3 equals 0. It is already written in standard form of contracting equation. So let us now find out the values of a, b, and c. So that's 1, 6, and 3 respectively. So again, we just have to substitute this in our discriminant b squared minus 4ac. So the value of b here is 6 and squared minus 4 times 1 times 3. And let us simplify. 6 squared is 6 times 6, so that's 36. Negative 4 times 1 times 3 is negative 12. 36 minus 12 is 24. So this is the value of the discriminant of this quadratic equation. So recalling the third condition, since the value of the discriminant is greater than 0, but not a perfect square, we can say that the roots of these quadratic equations are irrational numbers and are not equal. Okay? So irrational numbers... Irrational numbers and are not equal. Let us have the last example. So you were given x squared plus 2x plus 5 equals 0. Identifying the values of a, b, and c, those are 1, 2, and 5 respectively. Once again, you know it so well, the discriminant is just b squared minus 4ac. So the next step is just to substitute. So that's 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times c, which is 5. So 2 squared is 2 times 2, that's 4. Negative 4 times 1 times 5 is negative 20. And when you subtract 4 and 20, that is negative 16. I told you earlier that when you get a negative integer or less than 0 as a value of the discriminant, this means that this quadratic equation has no real roots. No real roots. So that is the nature of the roots of this quadratic equation.